Hi, this is Christopher Zimmerman from Magnolia International. I'd like to show you a proof of concept that our services team recently built, an integration of Google Analytics information pulled via REST and visualized in a new Magnolia app. I think it demonstrates nicely Magnolia 5's app concept and its overall customizability. Let's take a look. So we have modified the Pages app, and we've also created a new app, which is the Analytics demo, and that's what Pages is going to be accessing. So let's take a look. In the Pages app, we start with the browser. This is how we can get access to all the pages in our site. And we have something new now. There is analytics information in the browser about each of the pages. Here we have the time on the page from the past week. Now the other modification is that we've added a new action. Let's take a look at the About page analytics with the new action View Page Stats. This launches the other uh, analytics demo app configured to the page that we're interested in. We have some general information about the site, number of page views this week, unique visitors, site bounce rate, and then a complete graph um, about that actual page. So we can uh, take a look at the full year, you know, take a look at the last month, zoom through all the information with this nice widget. Um, let's jump back to the Pages app. Now let's take a look at the analytics of the service page. View page stats action. And we have information about the service page. Okay, now let's take a look backstage and see which Magnolia functionality was used to implement this. One thing to note is that all of the functionality came from one module. So basically one jar adds all the changes we've seen and we're about to see. So let's take a look in configuration. So Every module has its own node within the configuration, and here's the Google Analytics demo. So maybe the main thing to notice is in apps, we have the Analytics demo, and that's the app that we saw with the actual visualiz visualization. Um, graph Stats is the actual sub-app, and it is defined essentially with the Graph Stats sub-app class. Another thing to notice is the configuration. This holds all of the information to connect to the REST service. Now in a more robust implementation, not a demo, you could have uh, multiple of these, uh, one for every service that you want to access, but for the demo we just created one. And then we've created a few commands. So there's an authenticating command, uh, which authenticates to the service and refreshing page data, which you know continually gets the new page data. And these also essentially hold the classes that are delivered within the jar. Okay, let's see how these things are used. So we have this analytics demo app. How is that configured to show up on the app launcher? So it's configured through the UI admin central. In here we have a configuration which is app launcher layout. Groups are all the different sort of categories, containers. And then within tools, we can see that we now have an analytics demo node. So just based on that name, it knows to put the new app on the app launcher screen. How did we add the additional column to the Pages app that showed us the information from the analytics? Here we have the columns. Now, the Google Analytics module installed this configuration for a new column called Visits. And again, it references the actual class that grabs the statistics and puts them in the column that we saw. And then the last thing I want to show you is how the information is retrieved. So we don't always want to be hitting the API, so we use the scheduler. And two new schedulers have been implemented, authenticating to analytics. And here we can see it accesses the command, the new command that we created. And get page analytics data accesses the refreshing page data. I hope I've given you a taste of how versatile the Magnolia platform is and a bit of insight into the patterns of app creation, interaction, and integrating third-party services. 
Visit this wiki page to try it out yourself, grab the source code, and find more tech details. Thanks for your attention.